Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Linguistics with Ruan Nash. Today we have discussed with, uh, with my students uh, some of the logical problems in learning English language. Some of these logical problems uh, are linguistic structures. Then according to these uh, learners, they are facing uh, uh, the difference between structures from their first language and second language or foreign language for example Arabic and, and English uh, and even the grammar they face some uh, some differences between English grammar and Arabic grammar uh, and even in translation they are they are moving f so fast in in uh, translating literally rather than culturally for example and the pronunciation as well and, we, and I have talked about this, especially this logical uh, problem, which is the pronunciation uh, between English and Arabic language. And also uh, something called unfamiliar patterns. Unfamiliar patterns, like for example, uh, in English, uh, for example, if I wear you, I and wear as well. This is unfamiliar patterns, according to the uh, students, and even uh, she and he uh, and it with half and so and thus uh, uh, imaginary events when we can use the uh, he have and she have as well these unfamiliar patterns makes the the, 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 the the learners face a lot of problems in translation and in pronunciation as well and even in understanding the English uh, some of the students have uh, raised up some solutions from the internet, uh, which is the interactive, the interactive learn, which is, which uh, depends on the student-centered class rather than teacher-centered cl uh, class. So the the students will interact m more than the the teacher in the in the class. And effective feedback it's very useful and I have to force my students to uh, effective feedback you have to write down what you have gained from the each class writing it down and even uh, speak about what you have gained and uh, practical applications from the students and then from the teacher as well so the they have to apply what have what they have learned like for example the daily situations in the restaurant or airport they have to act in the class and individual teaching which is depends on the teacher that have to see the differences between learners and focus on each learner uh, about their for example some of the students like to visualize things, like to see things and learn vocabularies and pronunciation from uh, pictures or images, and the other from oral or listening. So the teacher have to have to uh, have to be patient uh, uh, at the first place, and then focus on each learner in his or her class. These are the some of the logical problems, uh, logical problems in learning a new language, which is English. Thank you for listening.